Well, hi everybody, my name's Steve. Today I'm going to be showing you the kayak that I'm going to be taking with me next weekend on a kayaking trip, which is going to be about 12 days. We're not sure exactly how long it's going to be. It depends on how long it takes us to get from where we're starting to where we're finishing, but we expect about 12 days. The kayak that I'm going to show you is a Gem Sabalo, J-E-M Sabalo. They're a supplier of plans. Uh, they do actually make kayaks, but they largely supply plans uh, to people who want to build boats and kayaks. And this is one that I built. What I'm going to do is show you how I actually pack the kayak for a camping trip and the gear that I'm going to take as well. So I hope you enjoy. What I was actually going to do was I was actually going to put this kayak on the back lawn and uh, have all my gear laid out and like a lot of people do in their videos show you in detail uh, in really nice orderly fashion how uh, the kayak is packed and all that sort of thing. But today's a horrible day in Adelaide, although the sun's shining right now, it's been pouring with rain, quite cold for Adelaide, South Australia, 12 degrees maximum today, Celsius. So I'm doing this in the shed. Sorry about that, it's not the most glorious uh, and most tidy shed. But uh, there you have it. So what I'll do first of all is I'll give you a rundown of the kayak, the features, and then I'll show you some of the gear that I'll be packing, and then how I pack the kayak. Okay, so the kayak itself is a gem Sabalo, as I mentioned, and uh, it's designed to be an all-purpose touring and fishing kayak. It's a sit-on-top type kayak. It's got a cockpit which is set into the hull and it's actually a bit of a deeper cockpit than what you get on some sit-on-tops. So it's sort of like a sit-in, sit-on-top. Why I like this particular type of kayak as opposed to a sit-in kayak is that uh, firstly I don't take this kayak out on um, on the ocean so much. I do fish close into shore, fairly close into shore uh, in the kayak. Uh, so it's not an ocean kayak as such. I do actually have it rigged out. Uh, I can have it rigged out as a sailing trimaran. And uh, you can see the outriggers just here. The outriggers there. And the, this here, whoops, this here is the spar that goes across to connect the outriggers. And I'm, I, might, I might do a video on that at some stage to show you how that, that's all decked up. Plus uh, the sail, I've got the sail down there. It's actually a Chinese junk sail and uh, it is fantastic. <laughs> I love sailing this kayak when it's in its trimaran mode. But it is a really, really good spacious very stable touring kayak and that's what I use it for mostly so the trip that we're doing this next weekend is 270 kilometers about 160 165 miles between Robin Vale in Victoria here in Australia to Wentworth uh, about 270 k's downstream now uh, the Murray River is a wide gentle uh, slow moving river so this type of kayak is ideal most of the storage is covered and uh, out of the weather so um, it's very good from that point of view the uh, it has got scuppers for draining water away so if we get heavy downpours or if we if I happen to tip over the water will drain out very very quickly as opposed to a canoe for instance that can take quite a while to bail out if you happen to fall out of it or you get bad weather. So uh, first of all the, sh the features, I'll show you some of the features of the kayak. We've got the front hatch here that's got uh, a bungee um, tie down on there and you'll notice that it's a reinforced cover which means I can put gear on top, uh, I can sort of kneel on there if I need to, that comes into its own when I'm attending to the sail when I'm uh, sailing in trimaran mode. 
But uh, it's a great hatch, quite spacious, and I'll undo the cover. Undo the bungees, rather. Take off the hatch. And hopefully you can see in here, it's quite spacious. Got my bailing sponge there. And inside, oh, sorry to put you on an angle like that, but there you go, hopefully you can see that. Um, I don't know how much space there is in there. It would have to be uh, 50, 60 kilos, 60 litres rather, maybe more. Uh, quite spacious. I think it probably, actually probably closer to about 80. Uh, it's deceptive uh, when you look inside a, a kayak like that. And uh, that's where a lot of my gear goes, particularly gear that I want to be protected from the weather. Uh, you'll also notice that there's this mast step here. I'm actually going to remove that, put a plug on the top there so that uh, the, the water doesn't get in. But uh, that's for when uh, I put the sail in for uh, Trimoran Road. It's also got this splash guard, which is good for when you're actually uh, sailing in the sea. Um, uh, but doesn't really come into too much of a use uh, on the river, although sometimes the water can get a bit rough. Uh, so that's the front hatch. Then we move down to the centre console. The console here has a, once again, a bungee cord to, to keep the cover down. Cover there. And what I use this for in here, you might see there's a sort of a box uh, or holder there for a battery. I actually use a motorcycle battery, 7 amp hour battery in there. Actually on this trip, because it's an extended trip, I'll be taking two with me and they'll both fit in there. And uh, that will recharge mobile phone, my uh, GPS unit, all those sorts of things. Um, while we're on the go. Have a holder here for my Garmin eTrex 20 GPS. That one's actually battery operated, that doesn't get recharged. Um, we have the two hatches here in the actual cockpit. One here which is a Hobie hatch. Fairly spacious. I use this here for keeping gear that I want to have fairly handy, might be uh, snacks, things that I want to be able to get to while I'm actually paddling. Uh, I suppose there'd be about 20 litres of storage space in there, uh, quite handy, and with that hatch, quite waterproof. And I have a small, easily accessible hatch, which is a bit less space. And once again, I use that for bits and pieces um, that I need on the go. My kayak seat, uh, which is a good quality kayak seat. I also have a foam base on there that I sit that seat on. And that's because uh, it's, it's nice to be just up off the floor just a little bit. Um, gives me a little bit easier and freer mo movement with the paddle and uh, up until recently and I'll show you this um, I wanted to have something that would get me off the floor so that if I had water in the back there that uh, I wouldn't get a wet bum <laughs> and uh, but uh, now I've actually got a drain plug behind the seat and I'll show you that just now oops And you can see that drain hole there. I only installed that the other week. Uh, but until then, if I did get any water in the back here, it wouldn't drain out terribly well. So uh, I've installed that ready for this trip. Then I have a well-worn now little uh, netting uh, storage area there, which I use to put a storage, a water bottle or something like that. Um, probably needs to be replaced, but it still does work anyway. Um, that there. You'll notice there's rod holders as well. 
I won't be using them so much on this trip. Whoop. Won't be using them so much on this trip. Uh, that's for when I go fishing. We'll be doing a little bit of fishing maybe, but it'll be mostly from the shore. You'll notice the foot pedals there as well. I didn't uh, point those out. And they operate the rudder at the back. Now, the next feature is this hatch here. And this is actually a insulated hatch, an ice box. And uh, comes in really, really handy when I go fishing because you can keep uh, ice in there if you want. If it's a hot day, you can keep ice or you can freeze you know, empty milk cartons and things like that with water and keep it cold. It's going to be fairly cool on this trip, so I don't think we're going to need that so much. But I'll be storing food in there, mostly food, a bit of water and uh, gear that I once again need fairly handy. Um, and I'll show you how I store things in there. Moving back, you've got this rear storage well area. Once again, roomy storage area. And uh, I put a lot of the bulky gear in here. I've got a big duffel bag, waterproof duffel bag that I put in there and things like that. Once again, with a good, uh, strong bungee cord to tie everything down. There's also a scupper here that uh, empties water out if it gets in there as well. And another hatch. This little hatch here is more an access hatch than for storage, although you can put little bits and pieces. I usually use this back storage area here for keeping things like um, uh, cloths or um, uh, gas bottles, uh, gas canisters uh, fit nicely in there. You can fit four or five of them in there, no worries. But it's mostly so that I can get access to the rear to sponge water out if it gets in. And the rudder. Now the rudder is in stowage sort of mode at the moment. That's a nice big rudder. It's great when you're paddling, but it really comes into its own when you're sailing. It's big enough to actually steer the boat uh, even when it's in fairly rough or windy conditions. Uh, it's actually a carbon fibre rudder. I made that myself as well. And I think that's it. You've got some drain plugs. Oh, you might see them there. Just some drain plugs there. Uh, when you're kayaking, no matter how much effort you take to seal everything, water does get in and you need to be able to drain the water out. Uh, if it pours with rain or if you get rough conditions, water will get into hatches. Um, anybody who's done any kayaking before will tell you that hatches like that don't keep water out. They just delay the water getting in a bit. So uh, yeah, you need a way of getting water out and uh, these these uh, drain plugs here get water out of areas that you can't get to, I can't get to with a sponge. So that's the kayak. Um, really, uh, it's, it's not ultra lightweight, it's about 34 kilos, I think it is, um, when it's uh, empty. It's nice and strong, very sturdy. It'll take the bumps and, and things like that and I can, uh, you know, sometimes have to scrape it past on off rocks and things like that, and it uh, takes that pretty well. So uh, that's the kayak that I'll be taking, Gem Sabalo. If you're interested in building a kayak, this is ideal if you're going to be using it for multi-purpose use like I do. So I'll uh, come back with another video talking about the gear that I take and how I pack it.